The serotonin theory of depression and the umbrella theory of depression are under debate for which one correctly represents the cause of depression. Serotonin is synthesized in the raphe neurons in the brainstem and the enzyme tryptophan hydroxylase converts tryptophan, an amino acid, into serotonin. Once produced, it is packaged into the vesicles of the neuron. A nerve impulse must come to trigger the release of serotonin. The serotonin then binds to a receptor and produces changes in the electrical activity of the brain, causing good mood. However, when there's not enough serotonin produced or reuptaked, it can lead to depression, hence the idea of reload serotonin brain chemical leads to depression. Developed in the 1960s, it proposes that depression only results from low levels of serotonin. This theory has been widely accepted for decades, influencing treatment and public understanding of depression. Well, that doesn't sound right, does it? Biological, psychological, social, and environmental influences also play a role as well. This newer theory suggests that depression has multiple contributing factors and not just a single brain chemical imbalance. It is also recognized that recent research has found little consistent evidence to support a direct link between low serotonin and depression. In addition, studies have not definitely shown a decrease in serotonin activity in people with depression. The serotonin theory was false and was never proved to begin with despite the momentum and validation it gained. Over time, the effectiveness of antidepressants has been seen, so why do they work in the first place? It has been said that antidepressants like SSRIs work by increasing serotonin levels, However, after the serotonin theory of depression was debunked, it was concluded that antidepressants might work through a mechanism not directly related to serotonin levels. Hence, despite the challenges to the serotonin theory, antidepressants remain a valuable part of treatment options for depression. The serotonin theory is being challenged while the umbrella theory is gaining traction. The serotonin theory is an oversimplification of the process. Depression likely involves complex interactions between various brain chemicals, genetics, life experiences, and other environmental factors that interact with a person uniquely. It helps explain why depression can manifest differently in various individuals and offer a more holistic approach to treatment considering various factors.